Hey, my friends, it is Friday afternoon. I hope you are enjoying the snow in April. I know Emily Ash in particular is excited about the snow, and so I hope she's out playing in it right now. I miss all of you very much and miss seeing you all regularly, but wanted to give you a bit of an update today on some things that are going on at Broadway. Uh, first of all, the uh, 40 Days of Prayer uh, booklets for the Islamic world uh, something that we have um, often promoted and encouraged us to pray for uh, Muslims during Ramadan. Uh, that booklet's coming out next week. Uh, if you are interested in having a copy of that to use, uh, please email the office, reception at gobroadway.org. We'll be getting those in next week, and the global outreach team will be delivering those by hand to you. So if you are interested in getting that book, uh, please email the office. Uh, secondly, um, just a reminder to you that, that Jamie Combs has uh, stepped away from her role as our church receptionist. So um, please, if you uh, see Jamie or think to, to thank her for her service to us, uh, please do that. Uh, Jamie, we love you and thank you for uh, serving us the last couple of years in that, in that role. Uh, third thing, beginning this Sunday, uh, we're going to be uh, preaching through uh, some of the, the post-resurrection stories that we, that we see in the Gospels. And I think that there are some themes in those stories, particularly about waiting and about, um, about hope, that are, are really, will be really helpful for us during this time. And so uh, beginning this week and for the next uh, four or five weeks, we'll be looking at some of those post-resurrection stories in, in the Gospels. Uh, as I've been praying about what to pray uh, to preach on uh, during this season, uh, I've I've wanted to make sure that we aren't ignoring the situation that we're in, um, but also not um, belaboring it and making it the focus anymore. And so, um, I think there's some themes in these stories that are going to be really helpful, really encouraging to us, uh, challenging to us during this time. And uh, so, if you want to read through uh, some of those stories um, in in Matthew and in John in particular, and also in Luke. Um, I think that would be helpful for you in the next few weeks. This week, we'll be looking at Jesus's appearance to, to Mary Magdalene at the tomb. The last thing I just wanted to leave you with, uh, this week I have I picked up um, my copy of, of The Confessions by St. Augustine. It's a wonderful book. And uh, there's a story in here that I just want to read to you. Uh, it's been an encouragement to me today, and I hope it'll be an encouragement to you. Um, in this story, uh, Augustine is describing the conversion of a couple of his friends to Christ. And uh, these two friends of his were, um, they were court officials for the emperor. And uh, so they had this secular career that they were moving towards. You know, you can kind of uh, imagine, uh, you know, some, somebody who was working in Washington, D.C., who was, you know, kind of on their way up in the political world. And uh, these, these two uh, friends, uh, came across a book by one of the desert fathers named Antony, and one of them began to read it. And uh, I'll just I'll just read uh, what Augustine says about their about their conversion. It says they found a book which contained the life of Antony. One of them began to read it. His admiration and enthusiasm were aroused. And as he read, he began to mull over the possibility of appropriating the same kind of life for himself by renouncing his secular career to serve God alone. Quite suddenly, he was filled with the love of holiness and a realistic sense of shame and disgust with himself. He turned his gaze toward his other friend and demanded, tell me, where do we hope all of our efforts are going to get us? What are we looking for? What are we working for? In whose cause are we striving? Does life in the court of the emperor promise us anything better than promotion to being friends of the emperor? And once we are there, will not that be a precarious position fraught with perils? Will it not mean negotiating many a hazard only to end in greater danger still? And how long will it take us to get to our goal? Whereas I can become a friend of God here 
and now if I want to. Brothers and sisters, uh, I've been thinking a lot about what I've been working for and striving for and what I'm going after. And um, I think a lot of those things are, are good and obviously a clear calling from God. Um, but I was reminded today as I read this account that friendship with God is available to each and every one of us right now. So you may you abide in him and seek his friendship in this time. I love you. God bless you today and peace to you, my friends.